During discussions on a topic, access to health as a basic right, the role of parliamentarians at the Interparliamentary Union Conference on Sunday, some delegates called on the Assembly to prevail over the Ugandan Parliament not to pass the anti-homosexuality bill. Other delegates also urged the Assembly to pass resolutions that will prevail over governments to legalize abortion that they claim is also responsible for maternal mortality. It is against this background that these activists called a news conference this morning to condemn this. They are asking delegates at the IPU Assembly not to both Western pressures. The fact that that child is not yet born does not mean that that child is not a human being. That child is fully a human being and the mother has no right whatsoever to decide to terminate uh, that life. To my delegates at IPU, when people say legalize abortion, you say no, first help us to sort out all these issues that cause maternal harass. Homosexuality and abortion are illegal practices in Uganda. And the anti-homosexuality bill tabled before the Ugandan parliament seeks heavy punishments including the death penalty. So we will still pursue a law because we know it is a vice, it should be prevented, and we will have to prevent it. The right standing members of our society will have to do everything it takes to protect people who cannot speak. And our legislators should do their rightful duties of protecting society, protecting our children from molestation by homosexuals who promote it. So we don't want homosexuals going to our schools and telling our children and recruiting them into all these gay clubs and so on, taking them money, because the gay lobby has a lot of money. Surely all those people now who are pressurizing for abortion and homosexuality, they didn't do it, they are doing it now, when in their end of the world, things are okay. The activists believe that providing and improving health facilities in hospitals is the only solution to reducing maternal mortality and not legalizing abortion. Agnes Nandutu, NTV.